Hi guys this is Abhi from Engineering Master welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master in three phase system power is transmitted through three phases in this video we will learn about three phase system connection this is also a continuation to our transformer series a three phase system can be connected in two ways star and delta we will see what is star and delta connection how is it done there are advantages and disadvantages and current voltage characteristics let's go to the video what is star and delta connection star or y connection and delta connection are the two different methods which are used for connecting three phase system that is three phases can be arranged either in star configuration or delta configuration so we know three phase system there are three phases red yellow blue so this three phases can be arranged either in star configuration or in delta configuration in star connection the terminals of the three branches are connected to a common point the network is formed you can see three phases r y b is connected to a common point this common point is known as neutral so in star connection there will be four terminals three phases and neutral why it's called star connection this shape resembles a star or y so this is called either star connection or y connection in previous video we have started a transformer series so this is a continuation to that series please watch that series also i will provide the link in description box as we know transformer has two winding one is primary and other one is secondary a three phase transformer in primary also there will be three phases so this three phases can be arranged in either star or delta configuration please bear in mind that this star and delta configuration only applicable for three phase system it will not be applicable for single phase system so if the transformer is in star connection the one end of the all three windings is connected together and form a neutral so this will be the connection you can see three phases r y b one end is tied together or connected together and it is grounded or this point is neutral in the right picture you can see the connection arrangement in transformer also so you can see this r y b this phases are coming from the generator or supply side all three one end is connected together this forms a star connection when i was studying this subject a question came into my mind if two phases are connected together what happens there will be a short circuit there will be an excessive of current flow why in star connection there is no short circuit happening so this question came into my mind at that time i couldn't find the answer but i found the answer now there are three four reasons first one is purposeful design in star connection one end is tied together and forms a neutral other end is connected to a load this configuration allows for balanced three phase operation and facilitate the connection of single phase load so in star connection we can generate both phases r y b and neutral so one phase one neutral equal to single phase connection so single phase connection also possible in star configurations so this configuration allows more balanced loads this is one of the reason for no short circuit another one is electrical isolations the windings we all know the windings of a transformer are electrically isolated from each other except the common neutral point except from the neutral point all windings are insulated or we can say all windings are electrically isolated the third one is impedance of the winding if you look at this picture you can see x supply is connected through a resistor in this scenario will there be a short circuit no in this scenario there won't be a short circuit because the supply is connected through a resistor the short circuit happens without resistance or zero resistance if we remove this resistor will there be a short circuit yes there will be a short circuit and excessive current will flow we all know the transformer windings are in the form of a coil so its resistance is very negligible but it has reactance or impedance so this impedance of the winding limits the flow of current through it the impedance of the winding would restrict the flow of excessive current because of the high impedance of the winding the excessive current flow can be limited or restricted the another reason is balanced operation so we all know this is the ac wave form this three phases are 120 degree apart if we connect this three phases together in that point the one phase will be maybe high but other two phase will be low in this scenario the system will be balanced the net current flowing through that neutral point will be zero because of this phase shift 
at any instance in this waveform the total current the sum of current will be zero this is the another reason for no short circuit in the star connection let us look at some voltage and current characteristics for star connection we have to know some terms first one is vl line to line voltage what is the line to line voltage the voltage measured between two lines for example the voltage measured between r and y or r and b or y and b this is called line to line voltage if we put a multimeter or voltmeter here between r and y we will get line to line voltage other one is phase to neutral voltage is very simple the voltage measured between phase and neutral we have to connect the multimeter in r phase and neutral terminal y phase and neutral terminal like this so the voltage measured between phase and neutral is called phase to neutral voltage or vp il line current line current is a symbol the current flowing through one line is called line current r y b so the current flowing through r line y line b line is called line current the phase current what is phase current the current flowing through the phase the current flowing through the phase impedance this is a coil right so the current flowing through this phase impedance is called phase current in star connection the line voltage and phase voltage are different vl equal to root 3 into vp line voltage equal to root 3 into phase voltage if we want two voltages or single phase and three phase voltages we have to use star connection but in terms of current in star connection line current and phase current will be same ip equal to il so in star connection line voltage equal to root 3 into phase voltage phase current and line current are same so these are the current and voltage kara for the star connection the another type of connection is delta connection in delta connection three branches of a network are connected in a such a way that it forms a closed loop you can see in the picture three branches three phases or three windings are connected in a form of a loop this type of connection is called delta connection it resembles the greek symbol delta that is the reason behind the name in delta connection there is no neutral in star connection we know three windings are connected together in a common point that point is neutral in delta connection there is no neutral let's look at a transformer in delta connection in delta connection the starting end and finishing end is connected to the adjacent coil so it forms a closed loop this can be done in primary and secondary winding of a transformer so if you look at the voltage and current characteristics we all know vl is the line voltage vp is the phase voltage il line current ip phase current in delta connection line voltage and phase voltage are same vl equal to vp if the connection is delta connection system there won't be any single phase voltage available the voltage available will be only one there won't be a two voltage system like three phase and single phase it will be only one voltage system in delta connection line current equal to root 3 times of the phase current for phase current equal to line current divided by root 3 the current flowing through each phase equal to line current divided by root 3 if we compare star and delta connection star connection is a four wire connection a delta connection is a three wire connection there is no neutral in delta that's why it's a three wire connection star connection line voltage and phase voltage is different in delta connection line voltage and phase voltage are the same in star connection line current and phase current is same in delta connection line current is root 3 times of the phase current speed of motors that are connected in star connection is low speed of motors that are connected in delta connection is high it can be used for long distance because less insulation is required it is used for shorter distance it is used for application which requires less starting current it requires application which requires high starting current in star connection single phase and three phases can be achieved because we can get three phase and neutral line voltage line to line voltage and line to phase voltage are different that's why three phase system can be achieved in star in delta only one magnitude of voltage is achieved only one voltage is available we know transformer has two winding primary and secondary and each winding can be connected in two ways either star or delta two windings with two configurations total four possible ways of connecting transformer winding that is 
primary star, secondary star, primary star, secondary delta, primary delta, secondary star, primary delta, secondary delta. These are the four ways of connecting transformer windings. The first one is star star connection or YY connection. Primary is in star connection, secondary is in star connection. Primary also we are getting neutral, secondary also we are getting neutral. This type of connection is used in high voltage and low current rating transformers. If you look at advantages and disadvantages, it requires lesser number of turns and smaller insulation because phase voltage equal to line voltage divided by root 3. So phase voltage is less than line voltage. That's why it requires less number of turns and less insulation. Line current equal to phase current. That's why current flowing through the winding is high. In that scenario, what do we have to do? We have to do the winding with large cross section. That's why the windings are mechanically strong so that they can bear heavy load and short circuit in some extent. Another one is there is no phase shift between the primary and secondary voltages. It is suitable for three phase and four wire system because neutral is available that we all know. If the neutral connection is not provided and an unbalanced load is connected, then the phase voltage tends to become severely unbalanced. In electrical engineering, you may have familiar with the load balancing. All consultants or the designers will insist for the load balancing. This is the reason for that. If the load is unbalanced, the phase voltage tends to become severely unbalanced. After connection with the neutral also, a third harmonic present in alternator voltage may appear in the secondary and hence distortion of secondary voltage may occur. We will try to do a detailed video in harmonics later. But these are the advantages and disadvantages of a star star connection or YY connection. Another connection is star delta transformer or star delta connection. The star delta connection is mainly used in step down transformers which are located at the substation end of the transmission line. The advantages and disadvantages are as primary star connected, the neutral is available in the primary sides, which can be grounded to avoid distortion in voltage. Because of the availability of neutral in primary side, we can avoid any distortion of voltage in the primary side. A star delta connection is free from the third harmonics as they circulate in the delta loop on the secondary side. A star delta connected transformers can handle large unbalanced loads. We know primary winding is star connected, star connection, phase voltage is less than the line voltage that's why number of turns and insulation will be less that makes it economical for large high voltage step down transformers the next one is delta delta transformer it's suitable for large low voltage transformers used for large current with low voltage and continuity required even one phase is faulty this is one of the rarely used transformers there are some advantages or disadvantages the first one is economical for low voltage the phase current is less than the line current and phase voltage equal to line voltage. That makes it economical for low voltage transformers. Absence of third harmonic voltage. Due to closed loop, third harmonic voltages are absent. The delta delta connection can be used for both balanced and unbalanced loads. If you look at all these transformers, if the current is high, then the area of cross section of the winding will be more. That makes it expensive in some cases. If the voltage is high, that needs more number of turns. That also makes them expensive for some scenarios. So we have to choose the transformer configurations carefully based on our applications, based on our requirements. Another one is delta star transformer. The delta star connection is used in step up transformers where neutral at the secondary side is required. A delta star connected transformers are mainly used as a generator transformer for connecting the generators to the transmission system. So if you want to connect a generator to a transmission line or grid, we will use delta star transformer. They are also used in industrial, commercial and high density residential distribution systems. There are some advantages and disadvantages. The delta connected primary winding requires less cross section area. The secondary winding is star connected and the neutral is present. Thus it can be used as a three phase four wire system. There is no distortion in the secondary voltage due to third harmonic component. This connection can handle unbalanced loads. The relaying of ground fault protection is very easy. If your house is in gated society or apartment complex, this type of transformer you may see in there also. This is the most commonly used step down transformers. That's it guys. We will continue transformer series in coming videos. If you like the video, please like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.